Let's queer up technology. Iconic transgender tech genius Lynn Conway to be inducted into National Inventors Hall of Fame. Transgender genius Lynn Conway will be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame later this month. Conway and co-inductee Carver Mead transformed the global microelectronics industry by inventing a revolutionary technology that allowed small teams of individuals to design powerful chips like the one powering your laptop right now. Semiconductor firms, circuit designers, and system architects largely worked apart from one another in the 70s. College students typically studied device physics or integrated circuit design, but not both, while manufacturers used individual design and fabrication methods. Mead and Conway worked together to develop an approach to streamline the process. Their groundbreaking textbook introduction to VLSI systems became the Chip Designer's Handbook. A Columbia University graduate with a master's degree in electrical engineering, she is a professor of electrical engineering and computer science emerita at the University of Michigan. Conway has five U.S. patents and is truly a transgender icon. Conway credits libraries for launching her career and subsequent inventions. She says the stories of the adventures of people have always inspired her and impacted her deeply. This statement holds a significant value amidst the present political environment where the attacks on education and book bans have been nonstop by Republicans. Oh my God, kudos to Ms. Conway. How yes, incredible. Absolutely. You know, I always say that I try to be the dumbest person in my group, okay? I love to surround myself by very smart people, all right? That is how bad things don't happen to you, right? I'm, wa I'm watching wow. The Walking Dead, right? End right. of the world stuff. <laughs> so I'm putting together a list of people that I would that want would with want. me at the end of the days, right? People that can build things, people that are good with their hands, people that are good at organizing. Right. Ms. Conway, you're on my list, mama. You're coming on the <laughs> They walk through. Yeah. End of days, I'll be looking for you. I remember yeah. as a small child, my mother would read introduction to VLSI systems <laughs> to me at bedtime. And so many, oh. so many good memories <laughs> stem from that. But in all, but seriously though, um, congratulations. I mean, this is a hell of an honor. It's it's a field that literally, like you said, t touches us all, like right now. Right. Bing! Exactly. Yeah. This is your legacy. Yep. Right. This yeah. is your legacy. And the fact that you're finally getting some recognition in the public square is fantastic. And since this goes back to the 70s, most definitely long overdue. Yeah, I'll just say ditto to what you guys said. It's, it's, I'm, I'm in awe. Mm hmm. Right? I understood like two words in that entire exactly. story. Ah! Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Feel a That's why I'm in awe. I'm just like, Absolutely. <laughs> Let me conductor what? I was I was trying to take notes. I'm like, and I can't. Is that know, someone but, who but, only conducts half the symphony? Yes. I think, uh, yes, and, that is yeah. exactly and, it. They said she always tries to make sure she's the dumbest person in the room and surrounds herself by smart people. I can honestly say I'm almost always the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly, Scott. That's okay, Scott. You're silly, I know, Scott.